Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to make a review of this uh, Okitel RT2 tablet, uh, I'll get you to the unboxing, uh, I'll show you what is the performance of it, uh, quality of the display, uh, the battery level which is impressive, uh, also I'm going to make a water test, uh, as well I'm going to show you the quality of the camera daytime and nighttime, gaming experience, uh, special features, so guys if you find this video helpful, uh, please hit the like button, also subscribe, so let's get into the video. This is the first overview of the box, it comes with this protection here at the top and this is how the tablet looks inside. Uh, it, it it comes with uh, two metal brackets and a screwdriver, uh, charging cable, uh, this is the strap and also user manual, uh, warranty card, SIM card uh, extractor and uh, also comes with a 33 watts uh, fast charge. This other tablet looks uh, at the front, uh, as you can see it has here some specifications about this uh, model in particular, this is how it looks at the back, the case is well integrated and as you can see there's also some metal screws in order to attach uh, the strap and here at the front uh, there is a selfie camera and also a pre-installed foil, this is the position of the camera at the back. And here on the side there is a clean design, nothing, on the other side uh, there is only the microphone located over here and also this part is just for the design. Here on this side there is a speaker and uh, this one is just for the design and uh, also power button, lock button and uh, plus and minus to adjust the volume. And on the other side uh, there is a SIM card uh, ejector, the charger and another speaker. Now in terms of uh, weight uh, it comes at uh, 1031 grams. Now in order to install the strap it's very simple as you can see the screws over here and you have to take the metal brackets and uh, position them accordingly and with the screw provided in the pack uh, just make sure you lock uh, these metal brackets uh, correctly and uh, in order to uh, install the strap it's very simple just open it like this it has velcro at the back and insert um, the velcro belt just inside like this on both sides and then uh, make sure uh, you adjust uh, the size of it based on, on your preference or based on the size of your hand and then just lock uh, the middle and uh, basically that's it, it's very simple. And this is how you remove the SIM card uh, tray and uh, as you can see uh, it can fit uh, two SIM cards or one SIM card and one uh, memory card. I'm gonna make here a speed test and I would like to show you how uh, fast it opens Google Maps because this app requires uh, quite a lot of memory usage uh, but the 8 GB uh, of RAM and uh, the octa-core 2 GHz processor uh, do a brilliant job uh, and as you can see I'm uh, just zooming in, zooming out, moving the maps uh, very fast and uh, the response uh, is uh, pretty good and uh, also here I would like to show you how fast it opens uh, YouTube and uh, from this point of view yes, I'm pretty satisfied with the performance uh, because uh, it moves uh, quite good. Also swapping between apps uh, is pretty simple, the tablet is uh, a very responsive, I didn't experience uh, so far any lag, uh, any issues, uh, it uses uh, gesture control and um, this is uh, something that I uh, prefer instead of uh, the regular buttons that are at the bottom. Now let you show something interesting, uh, it has uh, the flashlight app and as you can see it is displayed only on portrait mode, so basically to use it I uh, have to flip uh, the tablet, but the design is uh, pretty interesting, once you press this button as you can see the light is activated here on the screen and it has also the SOS mode, um, it is not uh, very powerful but pretty handy to have it and if I press on SOS uh, uh, the light uh, will blink uh, at the back but there is a catch over here once I uh, go out of the app just like this the light uh, will stay activated and uh, in order to switch it off uh, I have to activate uh, again the app. Now I'd like to show you how the settings section looks like uh, and as you can see it's pretty standard for any Android device uh, but what is really interesting about this tablet is uh, the battery capacity which is uh, 20,000 milliamps, uh, extremely large and even here you have some options, uh, you have even uh, the battery uh, saver option which I, I didn't activate because I don't see the point uh, of doing so and uh, if you uh, press on this option over here, as you can see at the top, uh, the percentage of the battery will uh, appear or disappear. Now in terms of storage it comes with 128 giga of uh, space but obviously extra memory can be added uh, using a TF card uh, and this uh, the rest of the options. Uh, if you go here to the sound settings uh, we can adjust the volume individually for uh, each uh, and one of these and uh, if you go here to the display, uh, it's a 10.1 uh, inch display, you can activate uh, dark mode which is uh, available only in the menu, as you can see nothing changes if I go out of the menu and uh, to activate back uh, the normal light just press one more time and it also has a night light which will transform uh, the color of the display uh, into this uh, orange, uh, very suitable for 
and reading and also has adaptive uh, brightness uh, and uh, also if you press uh, here you can adjust uh, manually the brightness and as you can see this uh, goes very very smooth from low to the max I would like to make a quick uh, audio test uh, for you guys to hear what is the sound quality on this tablet. Uh, as you can see the speakers are located on both sides. Uh, and if you press them with your fingers, uh, this is the sound. And as you can see I have here a microphone uh, which I'll put closer to the tablet. And uh, in order to adjust the volume, you can use the buttons located uh, at the top right. Uh, or you can use the volume bar from the screen, uh, which is a pretty responsive. Now, if you keep the tablet in your hands, uh, this is the sound. And if you flip it, the speakers will be at the top, which will uh, offer a better, a better sound experience. Now I have moved the mic uh, on the right, uh, and this is the sound quality. And now the microphone is on the left. Now I'd like to show you how uh, is uh, to navigate on the internet using a Google Chrome browser and as you can see it is a bit laggy but zooming in and zooming out is pretty easy and uh, while using uh, just the home screen it is pretty fast but when scrolling up and down uh, like in this situation uh, I cannot say it offers a good experience. Now playing games on this uh, tablet is fine in my opinion, uh, uh, it loads the games at a normal speed but obviously nothing to impress and as you can see here it's uh, uh, quite responsive uh, and by having a large screen the experience of playing games it is uh, significantly more interesting. Now the 10.1 inch screen has a resolution of uh, uh, 1120 by 1200 and a 14.4 by uh, 9 aspect ratio with uh, 350 nits of brightness uh, which allows you to view detail and vivid colors in any light. I'm recording this uh, with a camera but obviously the experience uh, while using it is much better. As well it has a good viewing point uh, from different angles. The tablet is a 0 0.0 inch uh, thick uh, and has a good grip at the back uh, even the, when the strap is not installed uh, and you can have easy access to, to the lock and volume buttons. Now considering the pattern that it has at the back it is easy to hold with both hands. Now in terms of specification this tablet is equipped with 8GB uh, RAM and with a MediaTek uh, uh, MT8788 uh, octa-core uh, processor which uh, has a power of 2GB uh, which offers uh, high performance and power efficiency. Now this is a test to see if the tablet is uh, water resistant and considering there is a IP68 waterproof uh, in this position uh, the screen doesn't respond but uh, if I remove the excess of water as you can see it works just fine. What I've noticed uh, during this test is the fact that the strap even though it gets wet uh, dries pr uh, pretty quickly uh, only if it's left uh, somewhere where there is enough air uh, and there is not kept uh, inside of a drawer for example. This is an overview of the screen while the tablet is uh, used outdoors. In terms of building quality uh, the Okitel RT2 is a rugged uh, tablet known uh, for how solid it is. Now the device is uh, designed to withstand harsh environments and rough handling making it popular choice uh, for outdoor enthusiasts, uh, construction uh, workers and other users who require a durable tablet. Now considering the weight of this tablet which is uh, just uh, over one kilo the strap is very handy and uh, helpful uh, because it allows you to hold the tablet properly without having to use uh, both hands. It is very practical uh, when it is held like this. Now in terms of buying options it is available on Amazon uh, uh, for this price at the moment of filming this uh, video and you can check Amazon in your country and it's also available in two colors uh, orange and uh, black. Uh, this is the one that I'm using in this video. The tablet is also available on Okitel's official website uh, in the same colors and uh, they also offer global shipping. You can uh, find the links to the products in the description below. The main camera is 60 megapixel and this is the quality of it in picture mode. Here is an example uh, of some pictures that I took in a slightly different light. And as you can see uh, it also has uh, an option of 4x zoom uh, and this is the quality at the max which in my opinion is uh, still decent. And this is the quality of the selfie cam which is the same uh, 16 megapixel like the main one and I would say it does a pretty good job. Now here is the video mode and as you can see uh, the refresh rate is uh, pretty good. It records 1080p at 30 frames per second and it responds uh, well to the difference between highs and lows. Same as in the picture uh, mode 
Uh, there is a 4x zoom available. It also has the beauty mode, which is available uh, for the main camera and also for the selfie. And uh, has also the mono function, uh, which basically transforms the picture into black and white. And here is an example. And uh, there is uh, the section called more, where you can find uh, the night mode, uh, uh, pro and scan. And uh, for example, on pro mode, you can adjust uh, the white balance, ISO, the end, the exposure based on your preference. Uh, this is how uh, the scan function looks like uh, and is suitable for scanning uh, uh, QR and barcodes. Now this is the quality of the camera during uh, nighttime in picture mode. I would say that it's pretty responsive, uh, uh, just a bit it struggles to focus. Uh, and here is an example. And this is how the image looks at 4x zoom. It is not that clear, unfortunately, but it is still doable. Uh, this is the selfie mode and uh, here is an example. And in the video mode of uh, the selfie camera, I would say that it does a pretty good job. It is responsive enough uh, and the main uh, cam on video again. As I said before, it is struggles to focus properly. Now the two black feature on this Okital tablet is a collection of tools and utilities that are built into the device and it includes uh, the compass which is a, a tool that can be used to navigate uh, through unfamiliar terrain and uh, this is how it looks. Uh, it has the sound meter to check the level of uh, the sound, pretty interesting function. It has the peak hanging, it has the gradient. It has the magnifier which basically is more or less as the main camera but you can uh, get very very close to the subject. The warning it's a combination uh, of the screen displaying uh, different colors, getting the alarm to ring and uh, the flash to blink. The plumb bob uh, which allows you to measure the degrees and the protractor a tool that can be used uh, to easily measure angles. Overall, the Okitel RT2 is a well-built tablet that is designed to withstand uh, tough conditions uh, and heavy usage. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast, a construction worker, or simply someone who needs a durable tablet, definitely the RT2 is a great choice.